I, I once met this woman and, and her husband. Who he, her husband was inside this costume, and then his hand came out and gave me this note that I had to give to her, and then he basically proposed to her. Um, through you? Through me, yeah. So you proposed to her? I proposed to her, her yeah. You proposed well, to I, her for him? Yes, and then, but then, and then the ring came out of this big costume, and then... The, you know, and course, did you put the ring on her No, finger? no, 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 I didn't, I didn't. I, 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 and did I, she say I, yes or no to she's, you? No, she said yes to the, the thing, the she head. She said... <laughs> And then she hugged, she hugged the, 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 the thing. It was like, it was, it was very sweet. It was very odd being asked by this this lady, an American lady in an airport, just to, you know, she said, excuse me, and can, do you mind, could you look me in the eye and just say the word Khaleesi? And so I said, uh, sure. She said, oh, thank you. And I said, Khaleesi. Khaleesi. Khaleesi! Oh, thank you so much. This one girl came all the way from LA with her mum to London for a week oh. to watch my play and like do some other bits. Um, and she was like, do you want to go and watch the BTS movie? Because there's this K-pop group called BTS and I really love them. I was like, I really want to watch that movie and none of my friends like K-pop, so absolutely. So I went with her and her oh, mum. Oh, that's so sweet. And we watched BTS, Burnt Stage, and it was really, really lovely. She's called Amelie and she's really, really sweet. I, I bumped into two gorgeous American couple, a uh, young couple who were walking around. It was quite cold. They were wrapped up and all. Mm. And uh, and I bumped, literally bumped into them on the street and they dived out in front of me and they were on their honeymoon. And they'd met kind of watching with, with, with a gang of friends, watching Game of Thrones. They'd got married and decided their honeymoon and do the tours. A young guy come up to me once and say, uh, because of my arc on the show, he, he found the courage to ask out the girl that he's been in love with his entire life and never had the courage to do it, always thought he'd be rejected. But there's something about the bravery of Sam that encouraged him to do it, kind of egged him on and he asked her out and she said yes and she'd been in love with him all that time as well but she didn't want to tell him because of the same reasons and so they ended up together. I had a conversation once with someone, it was like an interview but I had a conversation with him and they were talking about like masculinity on TV and like, and also like male, like black male masculinity and, um, and they were saying how Grey Worm kind of presented a alternative to, to what you normally see of like male masculinity, but particularly black male masculinity. There was a guy in a train a couple of years ago. He was just walking along the train and he stopped and he just stops. He's fucking brown. <laughs> <laughs>